Plus the mouse. We have thoughts on episode six of the Money Ducks game changes. As you can see, Wild Wings back. <laughs> oh, Wild well, Wings! I love this episode. I read it. I think this is my favorite so far. But before that, do you remember last week we were recorded our thoughts on episode five? And I thought, how it's... oh, you do? Okay, good. I don't know how I thought it was set up to be an episode where this episode goes to watch today. It was going to be set up as an episode where it looks like the doctor's going to try and poach Evan. You remember that? Yeah? Well, that's sort of what happened. That is sort of what happened. But it wasn't really the main story. It was kind of like one well, of the background story side plots. Because this particular episode was all about. The spirit of the ducks. No, 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 not you. <laughs> I, I know, not, not you, not you. But while well, if you ever did do a spirit of the ducks gala, we've got a little taste of what it could look like. We have, we have. Okay, so should we get the start? Should we get the poaching bit out of the way first? Yep. Okay. Right. So, no surprise here is that the duck. His Coach T tries to poach Evan, and he just is very afraid of him. I mean, Coach T, to me, is a bastard. Yeah, I think we'll warn now. Language is not going to be clean today. It's not going to be sweet, pretty. There's going to be some expletives. There you go. Warning now. To me, Coach T has been a bit of a bastard for this whole series. And Percy is somebody who I personally would love to give one quick backhander. One quick backhander around his cardboard cutout fist. Because that's what he got referred to a lot this week, wasn't it? Car cardboard. Cardboard. The cardboard. The cutout guy. I, 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 he does these one quick backhander. One quick backhander. And so did Stephanie this week. But we. She did. She deserved one too. Honestly. Um, I think now we're in the ha second half. We're kind of establishing which sort of characters we're not supposed to root for. Which ones we're not. Which ones we are supposed to love. Nah. Yeah, so Coach T tries his best. He first gets tries to do the whole business meeting thing, you know. You come back with me and then I'll give you state time you get to go to states, you get to have a car scholarship, blah, 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 blah. Convinced him to come to a practice. He attends the practice and it's and Evan still at this point is still uh, wavering. We can tell it's a state team minds when minds. Now at that point I'm like, hmm. What's he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Um. But in the meantime, and also, how's he gonna tell the others? Well, he doesn't have to, because it gets done for him. Because Stephanie, remember Alex's boss, yeah, who who Alex did beat in the slap shot challenge. She did beat her, yeah. Stephanie. Well, this week, Stephanie gets to be a right royal bitch. She really does, up to bitch, and just keeps asking Alex to do all these favours. Like, like, oh, you know, it's this gala thing, the ducks, and oh, a gift bag things to have a riot. Can you do that for me? And I can't believe that Alex capes. I can't believe she capes. If I did Alex in this position, I would tell you to go fuck yourselves. <laughs> sorry, wow, wait, I'm sorry, I'm not holding back. I can't, wow, wait, I can't hold back this week. I love this episode, I love it so much. But before we get to the God bitch, I've got, I've got to say how I felt about the heart, about the, uh, the bad bits, okay? I can't hold back this week, okay? I cannot hold back, okay? So just bear with, bear with, okay? Bear with. You're not used to that much swearing, are you? No, just bear with, okay? Bear with. Just bear with me here, okay? Because that's a conflict of interest, in my opinion. Stephanie is well, the doc's, is the doc, is the doc's mom. Although I kind of feel like she must run the front office here, because she's getting involved with all these different bits and that. Uh, and Alex, of course, is the coach of the dope bobbers. So I feel like it's a bit of a conflict of interest here. Now, of course, with hockey, we do have that family feel. Not that these dogs know anything about that. We do have that hockey feel. But I feel like there's a certain point where, actually, no, it's your team. You do it. That is what Alex should have said. She does say no at first, but eventually she caves. But if I was Alex, I would have just had more balls and say, no, fuck yeah. you. I'm on the, my team's the dope bothers, yeah. Your team's the ducks, so if you want. So if it's something duck related, you do it. You do it. Um. But we do actually then know the reason why Stephanie's doing it, not just to be your boss superiority. It's because 
she's heard about Evan potentially becoming a duck again. And so she goes back to the house like, oh, do all these things and you're born to the gala because you're a duck's mum again. Yay, go duck! And Alex, she's like, huh? At first, and then goes, oh, yeah, 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 Evan and Tom isn't. Tom, yeah, yeah. And I'm like thinking, right, okay. She's not going to, right, okay. T Time for the ticking off of Evan's life. I just put this, at this moment I thought, we have been, oh, you're going to get it! Because let's forget, the whole reason the Dark Boys exist because Alex did this team for you, made this team for you, Evan, because you got cut for the Ducks. Remember, hey, Evan? Remember, Matt? Remember? You got cut for the Ducks and Alex made the Bobbers team so you can still play hockey. And everybody on the, on the team, your teammates can play hockey without having to worry about the competition like that. So Alex, she does eventually play it subtle at first. I love how she's like that. Oh, look! I love how she goes all a bit subtle at first. Like, I'm having to volunteer for the Ducks Gala. Why am I having to volunteer for the Dot Scarlet, Evan? And she, he doesn't even get a chance at Chris because goes, Apparently, my son is a duck, it's a duck again, which makes me a duck's mom again. And I just felt, hmm. Alex, if I was in your position and I found out my kid has basically just stabbed not only his teammates, but also me in the back, I would give him the biggest hiding of his life and probably would use a few of my little expletives I've just said today. Yeah, I would. I would go. I don't think she laid into him a bit that much. She, cause remember, the reason why the Dark Boys exist is because obviously Evan got cut from the Ducks and Alex made the team so that he can still play hockey and all his friends that he's made as team in, in the series so far can play hockey. No? Because they love hockey. So I don't think Alex really did, 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 didn't lay it too much in. She should have got a bit more hard on him. But I love how she basically says, Evan, look, I know I'm going to for you. You're for you. If you want to commit treachery, because that's how it is, I put it. Yeah, if you want to commit treachery, your choice. But it's up to you to decide. And so the rest of the episode, we then see how Evan... Oh, ring, 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 ring. But eventually, when we get to the gala, he does go right to Coach T and says, I'm out. Oh, actually, no, sorry. It's, yeah, I'm out. I went to old Dragon's Den there. Like, I'm out. Thank, like, thank you for your offer, but I'm out. But like what you see on Dragon's Den. So that then so let's pretend I'm set Sarah Davies. I'm like Davies like I'm gonna make an offer. Oh that's fair lovely, but I'm out. That's what he sort of does. Like there's Bill Dragon's Den on us, that's what I was trying about that. Yeah. Says so, and Betty says, I'm gonna stick with my friends and all that. Okay. So that's all the da da da. Now there's one more bit, but it comes out in the end. Yeah, we're we'll going to the end. Right. I think for me the main story of this episode is the Doc's Gala. Gala. And we get to meet some old ducks from the original trilogy. Now, at first, I was a bit clueless at first at what was going on. Because first we see Gor Gordon meet uh, Fenton, was it? You can that one. Yeah, Fenton. Um, who accidentally broke his butt band by a broke a brick with a brick going through it. And then, and then Gordon, Fenton pops Gordon thing. oh, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, Fenton! And then he says how all the garlic, I'm going to have to tell about the garlic through Fenton. I'm going to have to that. Your meditation probably just got lost somewhere. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it probably did. So really, we then go and have a scene in, the, in, the, in Gore's office where he and Alex are searching for something else to try and find it and all that. They still can't find it. But later on, we then find out that actually Gordon wasn't invited because he doesn't represent the best of the ducks. I know. Can I, do you want, do you, can I swear on your behalf? What, can I do one while I mean, Can I swear for you? Yeah, you can Okay, me to swear for it. Right. Because again, it's Stephanie the bitch. Bitch Steph. It's our rub. It's our bitch of the week. Stephanie, she's the one that says it. So I'm like there. And I'm thinking, fuck you. Because Gordon is the reason that we're all here in the first place. If he didn't, is he been, if he didn't do the events of what he did in the first film back in 1992, there wouldn't be a My Ducks 2, a My Ducks 3. And this Disney Plus series get game changers. What am, it's all right, so because of Gordon, that's why we're here. But of course, <laughs> while we, while we see is busy trying to bash his head head on my desk, because he, even he's disgusted by that, aren't you, Wildman? Yeah, but you but you're you aren't gonna swear. No, you're a good duck. You don't swear. <laughs> mm, all right, all right. That desk is not. I gotta use that desk, you know. Don't try and cause dents in it. 
Let's see, Wild Wings also a bit not happy with that. He's pissed with that as well. Um, and it just hones that these ducks, they're now more about the winning. But that's not what hockey's about, you know? It's a, And you know what these ducks are starting to remind me of? Hold the thought. Hold the thought, Wild Wings. Because you know what these ducks are starting to remind me of? They're starting to remind me of a certain shark's arch nemesis. Who also doesn't seem to care that much about the sport. His only focus seems to be about winning. Winning. Do you know who these, do you know who these ducks are starting to remind me of? Do you know who he is? Vegas! Come on, That's what these ducks are starting to remind me of. They're starting to remind me. You feel, feel free to bash me if you want, Wild Wing. Go on. Go for it. Go on. Go on. Go for it. Go for it. Keep going. Keep swinging. These ducks, they're starting to remind a bit more of the Vegas Golden Knights, where their fans are a bit more uh, hot tempered, cocky, arrogant, and they the only care about the winning, you know. Everything else in their eyes is scum. We know that best of all. And all that. That's what these ducks are starting to remind me of. They're reminding me of the Vegas Golden Knights. And. Nice. And it's just... Uh, so when Stephanie says that's the reason why Gordon's not I'm like, FUCK YOU! Okay? Gordon's the reason we're all here. He's the reason we're all here. Bob makes the reason we're all here. Okay. So yeah, so that's what he's sort of star on my mouth. Thank you, Wally. Okay. So we meet one former duck. But I'll go and take him back. Right. I had to just do this. Oh no, I landed on Louie. No, we can't have that. No, not on top of Louie. Not on top of Louie. There we go. Sorry, Louie. Oh, no. Oh, I know. Love yet. <laughs> okay. It's got a bit mad. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, that's when, so, we meet one former duck, and then we get to have this nice scene where Gordon meets some other former ducks from the Mature Trilogy, and they are... Give it a sec. They are... So, Fenton, who we've already met, Fenton Reed. We also have Adam Banks, Les Arberman, Guy Germain, and Connie Mo Monroe. Right, and we know a bit more what they've been doing since their time as ducks. Um, and they clearly don't know what's going on with Gordon either. They don't know why he behaves the way he had, has been, had behaved for the first four, three or four eps. Yeah, eps. Um... They don't get why he hasn't really any concept with them over the years, over what's been the last 25 years. And they think they don't care about them. He doesn't care about them anymore. They then go to the gala, and Evan is there and basically tells Evan, look, the reason why Gordon's behaved the way, way he is is because he wasn't invited. Because they feel that, because these ducks feel that he's not the best of the ducks. Well, this then, swearing coming in Wild Wing, yeah, this then, pisses off the original ducks and so they decide to invade the stage just as coach bastard <laughs> just as coach bastard or as this week he's put out as cardboard cutout guy gets a reward and uh, so speaks of him original ducks they intercept the speech they talk about how Gordon Bombay mentored them the reason they're all here and that so yes yes all that. And then we go back, so we're going to the end of the episode now, so now, this is where the two sort of side plots, the plots of the episode intertwine. Um, so I do love that speech where they, that moment where they all, where all the British doctors go and charge on the stage and they basically say what Gordon did for them and what he means to them and how he, without, the, without him we would not be here to this day. Well, correct, as I've tried to make all this up. So we go to the ending now, back in the ice palace, the dope bombers are busy training and the original ducks skate out in their original ducks jersey, so lovely to see that they have his heritage there, and have a bit of a skate with the dope bobbers. The episode then ends with the dope bobbers with Sophie on her phone. She's about to do a group selfie with them, was it? Yeah, she's about to do a group selfie, and spots a video has been posted by the um by the bastard ducks, as referred to them there as the bastard ducks, um which of course is being led by. Cardboard cutout guy! Or as I prefer to call him, Coach Bastard. <laughs> um, 
they post this video of Eben Hyman being trained with the dope with the dark. Now I don't recall whether during the training session him being filmed. Maybe I missed that. Maybe I missed that. I did. I think I missed. I think I missed it. I think I missed it. I think I missed it. I was too caught up in all the nostalgia we were having and how this episode was connecting the two together. So the original, so the Mike Duck trilogy and this show together. Because I felt with having so far with the first five acts, just having Bombay hasn't really been enough. We need to see some more references to the trilogy to go. Okay, there's that. So we have we got on this, which makes me look like more. So they've now seen the video and basically go for, oh, will you go and leave us, Lola? And they're now all tear against Evan. Evan. And the episode ends with them all staying off the ring. And Evan's like trying to be like, guys, please come back. Come back. I didn't mean it. I was like, sorry, Lola. I really am sorry. And the episode ends. And I go, he had it coming. It serves you right. You do not abandon your team, Evan. Golden rule of hockey. You do not abandon your team. For the, okay? You stick your team for the highs and the lows, okay? I can, I speak, I can speak up for experience, okay? You know, my team's going to be a rough patch now, but I'm still sticking with them as always, so... I don't know, you do... So, so, who ever needs to learn that you do not abandon your team? See, even while they agree with me, you do, do not abandon your team. That's the golden rule, you do not abandon your team. So, I kind of feel that next episode is going to be basically Evan Hunter to basically grovel and beg for forgiveness. And, it, and they're going to be like, no, no, no. And it won't be until the very end where, okay, alright, I'll forgive you. <laughs> okay. So that's the episode as a whole. I really love this episode. I think it's got to be one of my favourites so far. I, I really have loved this episode. Um... Okay, there were moments where it made me want to just literally go full explicit, which I have done. Again, sorry, well, <laughs> he's not used to swearing. <laughs> well, any hockey mascot will tell you they're not used to swearing. <laughs> but I just love the nostalgia we had and how we connected the trilogy with this series together. I just loved, loved seeing the nostalgia and loved seeing us. Okay, like I, I have watched the, the Doctor Trilogy at least once, but I think I am due a rewatch. Yes, I am due a rewatch. Um, we're coming near to the end of the regular season now, Wowing. So, Wowing. So, we'll have plenty of time now to do that and rewatch. And of course, we'll do some film episodes. Obviously, we're gonna do a few shows next for Make a Brew. Which I'm sure, gonna come on. Ah, yeah, very exciting. So yeah, yeah. Because obviously, it's been hard because we're not. Obviously, I've not been able to watch. Any of these episodes so far would have come out because they seem to because kind of, they are coming out on days when I'm playing when my team's playing the shots playing so we've had to wait until the Sundays because we haven't had Sunday hockey for a very long time this season 2021 yeah so I say loved it so I'm due to rewatch the series again which we'll do we'll do because got plans for that with the brand yeah, but I really, really loved this episode. I love how the two just combined together. It was just amazing. I absolutely loved it. And very looking forward to seeing how we go forward in the rest of the series. Well, that's it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more content, please click the subscribe button. See? Yeah, thank you. I'll give you a little you can do that. Only takes a second. Once you have done, you know, go. And you are subscribed. You know, go to the second when new content comes out, including Brian, who says, I'll plus the mouse. Well, all that's left me to say is goodbye from Wild Wing. Bye, Wild Wing. And from me, au revoir. Hello, George Han here. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Don't forget to like, send a comment below, and while you stick around to watch a few more, go on. I highly recommend it.